Bob Satmary. I founded Obaddy's. I'm co-owner now. Ryan Stoltz is my partner. Uh, I brought him on board because he's dependable and superstar. But we'll be seven years old next month. And uh, so far, so good. It's like the weenie with a weagle, all beef natural casing dogs. We're very famous in Athens. You know. Obaddy's got the weenie with the weagle. Ah. My name is Zach Fuller, and I work at Obaddy's Red Hots. For a food service job, it's, you know, as as good as it can get, really. You know, you have your shitty customers, but you also have a lot of loyal ones who are really nice and friendly and, you know, tip well or, you know, if you're in a bad mood, they notice and want to talk to you about it. So. Morgan, what? if you need me, I'm indisposed right now. I'm sorry. I think I can manage. <laughs> I mean, I'm not 100%. When I got the idea of naming the hot dogs after burlesque stars, for me it just felt so right because, number one, it's a little edgy or off color or just something you wouldn't think of, like, oh, let's go to the hot dog shop and order a hot dog that's named after a burlesque star. People come in like, oh, they're strippers. I'm like, well, actually, they're not. Stripping was, you know, a devolution of the genre over the years. Originally, these women were totally empowered. They choreographed their own stuff, designed their own outfits. Some of them became incredibly famous and wealthy and proud to be doing what they were doing. And what they were doing, in my opinion only, perhaps was shared, embracing what they had to work with and making the most of it, you know, which was their femininity and the power to use that. <laughs> theme, I guess, if there is a common thread larger than just the burlesque and, uh, and hot dogs is like female iconography. I mean, I personally believe, you know, females and women are, they got together, are the uber force of the world and could control the world and make everything run smoother. If I would be reborn, I would like to be a burlesque star. I'd have to be a star. You know, if you are a college student and if you have been doing a bit of day thinking or day drinking and then it continues into the night and you find that your stomach has a lot of acid and it's very hungry the place that I recommend is O Betty's it has everything every kind of wiener you could ever want and the best wiener service in town right, get the fuck out of this sketchy place god damn you sketchy motherfuckers <laughs> one of the most diverse clientele I think uh, you know of any restaurant in Athens, for sure. I mean, I'm just, all of Athens is incredibly diverse as far as personalities go, but uh, we enjoy our customers. My intuition told me you'd come on the scene. So baby, listen to the rhythm of my heartbeat. Chili cheese fries? Basically. At late at night, because of the state of our clientele generally, we reduce the menu. During the day, it's uh, everybody, you know, business people, some university people, and students, and the community. But at night, it's almost primarily student. Every man for himself. Pretty ugly. understand what anyone's <laughs> talking about. It's all drugs. It's all drugs. 90% of the people are so wasted. They don't know what they want, they don't know their name, they're like, oh, they're 
they're lucky if they can say chili cheese. When the drunks come here, I mean, especially on weekend days, the drunks come in all the time. Right there. Yeah. 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 I work at Obedi's Red Hot in Athens, Ohio. You know, uh, Scooptober is playing tomorrow at uh, the Hal Show. You should come. <laughs> There's uh, a touring band here. Uh, they're on tour and they need money, so uh, it's Abacu. I don't know when they're playing, but I have a wig that I'm going to pass around. <laughs> I play bass guitar in Spooktober, Sister Shuffle, and The Never Evers. My name's Scotty, and I work at Obey's. Amish Electric Chair. It's punk rock. I, I guess it's kind of a generic term. I have lots and lots of rock stars work here and artists. I don't know how they feel personally, but I see them as an extension of Obedi. Uh, Jamie Lewis, who also works here, she's in the Never Evers as well. Um, John Garris plays guitar for um, Wheels on Fire. Scotty drums for Amish Electric Chair. And I'm a vocalist for We March. <laughs> Now we get to like the museum stuff. These are this case here, and then this case over here are my hot dog cookers, which span like, hey Zach. Hi. Pretty good. I'm giving an interview. Span like about 100 years worth of technology in hot dog cookery. So, which is fascinating because they're, uh, every decade, they'll come up with some sort of new way to cook a hot dog. Uh, actually, it always is the same way, only it's a different way of doing the same way. Like it's either electrocuting the hot dog, or steaming it. Hot dog beer, hot dog marshmallow here, hot dog bubble gum, salt and pepper shakers, toys, dishes. And like I said, this pretty much, all this stuff is like, uh, like over 100 years of hot dog stuff. People have always been creative, you know, not just in the 70s and 80s and 90s. Hot dog soap, hot dog candles, hot dog belt buckles, you know, a little bit of everything for your hot dog home. I love cultural, manifestations of, you know, the human species during the past hundred years in America. Because sometimes it doesn't make any sense, you know. I guess which is what I find amazing. So. Plus the owners, Bob and Ryan, are really sweet and I've had enough of dealing with people who worked in this town or like owned businesses in this town who just kind of, you know, feed you a bunch of bullshit and then you have to eat it all the time. So. These guys are pretty straightforward and also really nice and have grown up basically dealing with the same sort of crap we're doing, dealing with right now. So I think they know where we're coming from and I think they respect the fact that we do it. Right, um, you know, everybody's willing to help everybody out whenever they can. Okay, I'll pull my car up. Okay.